now to pose any threat to Bran in their bid to lock in the remaining qualification spot from Group B. They simply have to be victorious on this freezing night in Milada Boleslav. Deception from Krejcikova. Looking for Chernar. Krejcikova it will be in the end. Krejcikova. Kirova's in the middle. The match has got to be careful. All straight into the shins of the goalkeeper. Kirova might try again, and it's over the bar from Franny Chernar. And another big chance for Slavia Prague. Reminder, Leon haven't lost a domestic game all season. Not lost in the Champions League either. Here comes Kirova. And she might have got away from Balog here. It's Mihaila Kirova. Out off the back of the heel. From Elena Strantonio. Then Duvar got the clearance away and Bruntala with the shot, but just off target. Krejcikova, this is none of them in the end. A slice of her, would they get over the top, and McLaughlin is there! But put their headers straight into the gloves of Karina Schluter. Setting would be overachieving to go through, but they'll have been pleased with the way that the, the draw landed. Hasn't been able to take advantage so far. The side still yet to score a goal. Kirova. Chernar's on the overlap. Lost their footing. And allowed Jennifer Klein to nip it. Chernar. McLaughlin. Taking the conservative approach. Forward by Bartovicheva. And it's a good ball to find Michelle Show with the cross in as well. But Shevyechkova unable to direct it on either side of the goalkeeper. It slips under the foot of Shevyechkova. Schumacher might be able to get this ball away. Nikolaeva was fouled and held, and by the tone of the referee's whistle, I think there might be further recriminations. The yellow card is out. Tovicheva with a few choice words for the referee. Here it goes. Over all the heads. Latovica with the knockdown. Chernar. And I've got it away. Franny Chernar again. Show. Going for goal. Forces the very best out of Karina Schluter. And there might have to be more to come. That ball's not been cleared. Kirova straight at the goalkeeper. Well, there may have been over a month between the two meetings of these sides, but. This game has every essence of the first. It's almost a direct continuation despite the delay. End to end, exciting. But bereft of goals. Here comes Krejcikova. Trying to go infield and gets the shot away as well. And Schlitter is there again. Kept alive by Krejcikova. Because if it doesn't bring victory, it spells surely the end of the road this year. On the quest for European glory. Zvez first. Moment is to find that lovely ball forward towards Madel, and it's only been careered away into the path of Bruntala. Might get a second bite to the cherry. Show coming in to try and stop her, and it is Batovic, but who gets the ball away? Up towards Krivska. Quickly away by Matna. It's Madel. Look at 2 1 coming forward on the near side. Options in blue. Bruntala. A situation that could have ended very differently. Well, that's the continuation if Slavia can manage to get something on the score sheet. And they might do here, because they're going to go through with Krejcikova. It's Teresa Krejcikova across the face and into the back of the net. Mihaila Kirova. And at last, the Champions League goal for Slavia Praha. And just when they needed it most, Karol Pitek celebrates. Find it, she did. Her part is done. What can those in the field manage to engender in the final 25 minutes and change? It's only a training ground move. Oh, a big touch. Bruntala threw herself in. It's for to Kirova. Straight down the throw to the goalkeeper. Well, the coming together was loud. Where he seemed to think it was neat, neat enough from Melanie Bruntala to win that ball back. 
nearly made to pay anyway. That's a flying challenge. And down goes Mikolaeva. That is going to be a yellow card for Teresa Krejcikova. We're going to see another yellow here. That's gone to Lieza Branca Ribeiro. Firmly in the, in the sights of Slavia Praha. And here comes Zank Pelton. And it's Hillebrand. Into a crossing position, but with no recourse to do so. Matna. Klein. Lemeshova. This might be the time to be bold, Zank Pelton. It's a lovely pass into Matej Tver. Look at the set of Bruntala, just wide of the post. And how she wishes she could have that back. It passes out without a touch from the goalkeeper. So that changes for the home side. Karolina Kriska is going off and this the area where they've fallen short. Recent years, the Champions League. That's a lovely ball through. And then no offside flag either, Valentina Madel. Off the line, Michelle Show. Here's Svea. Zara Matna. Couldn't find the target, and it will be a corner. Haley Stackpole with Nikesha in the middle. Got around Hillebrand, plays the crossing as well, but it's just ahead of Mihaela Kirova. Who will get there in time to keep it alive. Crossing opportunity. Here's Nikesa. McLaughlin. Going for goal. Doesn't miss by much either. And straight away, Karina Schlitter wanted that second ball. Franny Chernar. Nadal chasing. And Nemesheva winning it back. Can the teenager be the one to change it? Matej Tver in with a chance here. Mikolaeva with the dummy. Just needs to finish. Zara Magna still the same. It's becoming bitty and fragmented now. Marjolin Nikesha. Mihaila Kirova going for goal. Forces a fingertip save out of the goalkeeper. It is her goal, Mihaila Kirova, that separates the two sides. And Away by Balogun, we're into the final minute of the added five. Zara Matna. She's careering forward and brought down by Vesela, who's going to go into the referee's book here, I would imagine. Madeleine Nikesa is there. Trying to feed it centrally, and it fell nicely for Vesela. Shunovskar was in there, but that is the full-time whistle. And European dreams live on for Slavia Praha.